Welcome to another exciting edition of Black Creek NZ. Today we have come up to a stream that is running very low in hope of finding some brown trout. There's a bit of a drought going on at the moment. We need some rain. If anyone's got some spare rain, can you please send it uh, my way? I'll make very good use of it. Um, we'll put some more into here and uh, things should uh, tidy up a wee bit. I, I think we've had no sort of decent rain for maybe, I think we're probably looking at about six weeks now without decent rain. I wouldn't say it's dire, but it's getting pretty bloody close. trout holding over the top of that pool and I'm going to throw on the I'll go for the naked nymph approach I think see if I can pick them up just using a truck and trailer nymph set up with no indicator bugger and now I'm snagged Good fish and snag. How Black Creek of me. So our fish is still there. He's holding a little bit closer to those logs now, but we'll fire a parachute up there and see what happens. There's our fish. So how the, uh, the trout I was just fishing to, I put a couple of casts on its right hand side and I was trying to figure out why I couldn't pick it up, why it wasn't reacting. I got a closer look at it and it's blind. It's blind in its right eye. So the, uh, the poor bugger couldn't see me. Couldn't see the fly. Trying to catch a buddy one-eyed trout. Harder than you think. A lot harder than you think. Thank you. 
How'd I do it? Oh, bloody awesome. I think that was about the eighth trout that I've seen today. I'm pretty sure I got the take on camera. I hope I did. Took a size 16 pheasant tail nymph, sitting in some real shallow water. I put over a, uh, oh, we'll call it a parachute black gnat. Take a parachute black gnat above his head. And he came across, hit the nymph. Good run upstream. Put a, put a good 50 metres of line out in his first run. After a slightly unplanned and somewhat chaotic release, I continue my way upstream. The thing about chaotic systems is, when you initially look at it, it appears to be predictable. But the longer you're exposed to it, the more random it becomes. And when two highly chaotic systems meet, the results can be quite unpredictable. However, there is one constant. When Black Creek meets a big fish, it always ends in some form of disorder. Every now and then you have one of those moments where everything just works. And check out the state of that bugger. That is one of those moments. Man, what a cracking fish. Woo! <laughs> Like a bloody alligator on it. It's a big fish. Wicked. Mean fish. The head and shoulders on that thing were bloody monstrous. Absolute stonker. Uh, size 16 pheasant tail again. Seemed to do the trick. Wicked.
bloody strange experience. That fish fought real hard, swam freely. When I got him into the net, he got bloody cramped. Uh, one of his fillets went into bloody spasm, so I, ha I put him back in the water and he didn't swim away. He was bloody cocked over on, sort of hunched up on one side, so I, I held him in the water and slowly flexed it the other way, trying real hard not to damage the skin or anything. But he swam off. Cramp. Even trout seemed to get it. Hard case. Who knew?